Happy Wednesday, third grade. I have reading workbook 178 in front of me, kinds of adverbs. Actually, I'm going to flip that over. It should start with 177, possessive pronouns. So we'll look at this one first. We talked about these yesterday, and so I'm just going to go through this. I asked you to look at this ahead of time, and you just needed to choose the one that, that fits the sentence. So I showed the new student around my neighborhood, not mine neighborhood. If I hear someone saying that, you know, that's mine car, that might be something a little person that's just learning to talk might say. But we want my there. These socks and shoes are her or these socks and shoes are hers. We would end that sentence with hers. Hers. She may have scored the winning point, but the assist was mine. M-I-N-E. Using our best cursive, I ran to our bench. The players understood the coach's words, but they didn't know all of her signals. And I found Jason's family, but I couldn't see where my family was sitting. Because we have the word family there, we wouldn't say mine. It would just be my family. All right, so that was a little bit of a review from yesterday. Um, let's flip it. This page, Adverbs, is an overall review for us. They kind of throw things in that we've done earlier this year. Um, remember that an adverb is a word that describes a verb, and verbs are your action words. They are what you do. An adverb can come before or after the verb they are describing. Adverbs tell how, when, and where an action happens. Often, an adverb ends with an L-Y. L-Y. Um, doesn't always have to, but often it does. So um, an adverb that tells how Manny quickly passed the ball. How did he pass it? Quickly. There's your adjective. We have to practice often. When do we have to practice? Often. And an adverb that tells where we practice here. So verbs that are, excuse me, words that tell when and where are also um, adverbs. All right, write the adverb and what it tells about each underlined verb. Gail cheered loudly for Manny. Cheered is the verb. How did she cheer? She cheered loudly. Oh, loudy. There we go. Forgot the L. Loudly. And then I'm going to write how. They ran away from the fire. I think we have something where here. Um, they ran where? Away. Away tells where. The game always begins at 4 o'clock when? Oh boy. Um, the game begins Oh boy. I'm sitting there going, well, that could be always. The game begins always. I feel like always is what we need there. I'm going to go back and check that, and I wish I had that out. I know that you'd say when it's 4 o'clock, but um, the, the, the adverb, I believe, there is always, and that tells when. If I am mistaken, I'm going to come back and talk to you about that. Um, our team shook hands happily. How did they shake hands? Happily, um, that tells how. Now rewrite these into one sentence. So we need to do a little writing here. The team played another game. They played the game later. The team played another game later. We're just going to add the word later there, and that's all we have to do. The goalie blocked the ball. He did it easily. Well, we could just say the goalie easily blocked the ball, 
or you could have said the goalie blocked the ball easily. Either one would be fine. I just decided to put it ahead of, ahead of the verb, easily blocked the ball. Period at the end, of course. Um, we stop for water breaks. We stopped often. How about we stop often for water breaks? Period. Manny scores a goal. He always scores a goal. Oh, how about Manny always scores a goal? All right, looking all right, making sense. Um, this week, your possessive pronouns are going to be more important than what we just reviewed. Um, this would be your main grammar skill, so hold on to these um, if you feel like you need to, the one that we did yesterday on this and then this um, for future reference. So thank you.